I am confident that the best opportunities are on the other side of fear. And so if we can figure out how to get to the other side of that, whether someone has to push you out of a plane or whether you figure out how to make the jump on your own, that's what I'm, I'm most passionate about. Who would you have a cup of coffee with? I ask myself this all the time. I'm fascinated with business and leadership. I'm Kara Jorvig, and this is Coffee with Kara. Join us as we chat with big names in business and just get to see a different side of leaders. I know, what's the, give me the opening line again. <laughs> so this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've seen some or I've heard some great stories and content from people this year. Wouldn't you agree? Joni Wheeler's oh, last yeah. one with Coralink. I mean, she's one of the most incredible leaders that, that I've met and just so humble. Every person that we've showcased this year has been incredibly humble and grateful for the opportunity and very quiet about their success. And so it's not to showboat what they're doing, it's to teach others, you know? They have, they have a story to share, so if you, yeah. If you're not humble about, if you're an entrepreneur and a high level like that, I mean, you're not telling you're not telling the truth because this stuff is not easy but we wanted to do something different with it um, I, I remember specifically wanting to collaborate with leaders that didn't always they weren't always public or didn't always put things out on social media they were kind of flying under the radar but there was a lot of maybe conversation or interest in in those people um, and so yeah to have a cup of coffee with somebody that you admire or maybe even aspire to be like in some ways as a leader um, but to be able to share that story with so many others, because you think about how many people would never ask someone to have a cup of coffee. You and I just, you know, we have a different tolerance for rejection. So, yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, or there's even, a lot of people that we would want. I mean, who would you want to have a cup of coffee with and pick their brain and learn from and get some mentorship from? I mean, when you think about that, the list is really long for me anyway. All I remember is eating a puke flavored jelly bean. <laughs> That's easier to, you know, hey, how you doing? Would you like to talk leadership and eat puke? flavored jelly beans. Well, I didn't tell Charlie Nelson that we were going to do that, but and, and then I did make you do that too. But it's to take people outside of their comfort zone a little bit and to show that leaders, even high profile leaders that have huge responsibilities and big companies and big teams, or they might be in the public eye in some, some way, shape or form, that they actually have a sense of humor and that they're fun and that they are willing to help others and bring others along in terms of their professional careers and journeys and I think that's pretty special. So we've had a lot of fun this year and I mean, I, yeah, I think about the jelly beans, I think about throwing axes, I mean most recently jumping out of an airplane was more symbolic for me certainly than the Navy SEALs that do it all the time. But um, it's, been, it's been a huge opportunity and I'm really grateful for it. Well, I'm just, I was just sitting here through the process thinking, you know, should I call an attorney about liability forms? Because <laughs> each, each uh, interview is getting more dangerous as we go. And well, I, I guess there's some symbolism there too, right? The week of the 4th of July, the chairman of the Fargo Air Show called me and said, hey, Kara, would you ever jump out of a plane with a Navy SEAL? And my immediate response was, no, would you? And he's like, well, you know, no, I've thought about it, but you know, we thought this would be a really cool opportunity for you. So I said, no. And then I got off the phone and I started thinking to myself, how many times in my life have I not pursued an opportunity or, or taken a risk just because I was scared of doing it? But I started thinking about it. And then what's crazy, Mike, is every year I um, make a vision board with an entrepreneur friend of mine. And this last year, the bottom right-hand corner of my vision board had the Navy SEALs, like a big picture of the Navy SEALs, because I absolutely admire the Navy SEALs' mental strength and training and their leadership really anyone in the military, that mindset of doing things that are tough. Um, and so I, I stopped and I thought to myself, like, you have to do this. This is an absolute opportunity of a lifetime. And so it was, it really was a life changing experience for me. And so now I've been awakened. So you might have to get some insurance on me because I don't know what I'm going to do next. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I most admire about you and working with you is that, that that's your mentality. Jump and build the parachute on the way down. I'm, I'm the type of person that would like to have a plan like and know exactly when you're going to pull the string and this and that, whatever. So when I think about someone just taking me off the back of this plane, a C-130, which was crazy for the back end of this thing to open up and all I could see 
were clouds and I can't even describe to you what it was like. And then the fact that he said, we're going to do a back flip off the, uh, off the back, <laughs> you know, and I thought he was joking and me smart, smart me. I'm like, no, I was just thinking like a cannonball would be cool. <laughs> no, we're going to actually back flip out of this thing. And you know, when I, when I stop and think about what he pushed me to do, um, I, I didn't have a plan. I had to let go control and I truly had to trust. And I believe that that's what I've had to really work on as, as a leader and as an entrepreneur, that I can't control everything. You've even told me, Kara, like I, I value a strategy, but sometimes we have to build it as we go. And that's, that's one thing I've learned from you. And that's one thing that I continue to work on because I think there has to be a, a balance. You have to have a plan and you have to have a strategy, but sometimes you just have to take a leap and, and you know, trust that the parachute is gonna open or sometimes put somebody on your back that knows more about what they're doing than what you're doing and, and hope that you know, it all turns out because you actually trust you know, somebody that has more experience than you. I just live by that. Let's go, let's mm -hmm. do it and we'll figure it out. Um, and so, but you have to be a little more calculated as you grow. And, and uh, so for me, it's just, how do you not underestimate the complexity of leadership and, and uh, strategy and, and, uh, and just uh, continue to learn and get better every single day? I am confident that the best opportunities are on the other side of fear. And so if we can figure out how to get to the other side of that, whether someone has to push you out of a plane or whether you figure out how to make the jump on your own, um, that, that's what I'm, I'm most passionate about just in life right now is making sure that people, you know, do the things that they really feel like they're, they're meant to do. But do you have the courage to do it? And sometimes you need to be pushed, right? But at the end of the day, you know, you make the choice on whether or not you go up in the plane, right? I'm trying to work on is just this mental discipline for myself first so that I can be better to other people, be better to my, be better myself. Yeah. Uh, when I do things I don't want to do, it's much more positive yep. and exciting and not as much of a task. And hopefully I'm on to something here because I think that's mm -hmm. really what is, it's really going to take. You know, with the amount of pressure that a lot of entrepreneurs put on themselves, if you don't have a good mental game, you're, you're done. I don't think I realized until I started working with my own leadership coach um, to, to work on my leadership that like tenacity and resilience is an actual skill set. I don't, I don't think I thought of it that way. I thought it was more of a trait or a characteristic. I didn't know that people actually had to work to build these things. And so I think that a lot of people look at, you know, say you or I, and they think that we're just naturally risk takers or that we're naturally confident in the decisions that we make or that we're thrill seekers in terms of gambling with our own money or that type of thing, right? You just assume those things. But what I've learned through experiences and through working with leaders, both, you know, through our business, but even personally, is that these are these are actual skills that people have to work to build. I don't wake up every day just ready to jump out of an airplane. Tenacity and resilience and confidence, recognized confidence, and these are all barriers that leaders face as they're growing their businesses, as they're transitioning their careers, as they're advancing. I'm just a huge fan of this area, you know, and the people around here and how uh, their roots and what they're about and how genuine they are is just so inspiring. And so to hear them open up a little bit more about that and you can relate yes. and, and feel more comfortable and it's okay, you know, more other people are going through the same, you know, overwhelming yes. thoughts every minute of the day. We're overwhelmed because we have this opportunity to do amazing things. And wait a second, I'm not really overwhelmed anymore. Yep. I'm more just, have a lot of great things that I can do and accomplish Absolutely. and I love what I do and wouldn't that be nice you know and so that's what I think we're all looking for is we want to love what we do living out your passion you should have fun right and and I mean coffee with Kara this year has been an absolute highlight for me just grateful for the opportunity to spend time with a lot of cool people but then I you know that day I jumped out of an airplane I'm like I can't believe I'm, this is my work right now. Like, how cool is that? You know, we always hear this, this uh, business power phrase, KPIs, key mm -hmm. performance indicators, and we want our business to have predictability and we want to measure what, you know, inspect what you can expect and all the cliche things, right? Like, okay, so how do I measure these uh, indicators so that we can see the trends and, and uh, predict, you know, things that we can solve before they happen and, 
have a good grip on your business health. And I just want to know as much as I can to predict and have an mm -hmm. understanding of my own key performance indicators. So if I'm feeling stressed or mm -hmm. I'm feeling overwhelmed or I, I, I get angry or any of these feelings, how can I notice why those are happening and predict a way to solve them before they get too powerful or consuming? Yep. I mean, you're catching me at a time where everything I'm reading in my free time and stuff is around the, the psyche. And, um, and there's just so, and, and as a business person and an entrepreneur, it's actually really fun. It's, it, you it can is. use it in sales. You can use it, I mean, um, you know, how to, habits, what do habits look like? What, are, you know, reacting versus responding. What, what is, uh, where are these things coming from? Are they, are you angry because of this or is it actually because of fear or something else, right? And if we can understand ourselves first, we're going to, you know, we That's can understand exactly those right. indicators, then I think everything else will, will come along. Coffee with Care, we mm -hmm. absolutely love teaming up on this and it's been fun I think at this point we're we're thinking how do we expand on it mm -hmm. how do we make it more regular there's a lot of great resources and people and information right here at home it's just we've got to make it more accessible and you continue to provide a platform for people I want to continue to provide a platform um, to people to, to make connection to opportunities um, that's what it's all about. It's all through people. So mm -hmm. I, I think it's going to be a great 20, 2020. I think we're starting to shape up like a daytime talk show here. Huh? Well, I'm, yeah, I should probably get a, like, well, it's been fun. So I appreciate the opportunity and we'll, we'll keep it moving forward next, next year. Yeah. Likewise. So. Oh, I'm sure you're going to use that. <laughs>